in the year 1851 began a timeless journey. A journey to investigate and assess coal and other mineral resources. It was the birth of Geological Survey of India. Geological Survey of India, a world-class institution, is today attached to the Ministry of Mines, Government of India, operating through 33 pan-Indian operational units, with its headquarter at Kolkata. The prime objective of GSI is to understand the basic geologic framework as well as geological evolution of India. Through geosciences research, creating nation's earth science database. Therefore, the core competence of GSI continues to be geoscientific data collection and geological mapping, along with mineral resource assessment of the country by carrying out surface, remote sensing and aerial, marine and coastal surveys. Surface mapping comprises of national geophysical mapping, national geochemical mapping and specialized thematic mapping, generating maps progressively on larger scales using state-of-the-art survey techniques. However, since 1965, GSI has been conducting aeromagnetic and multi-sensor airborne surveys for exploring mineral resources. Geomorphological mapping plays an important role in oil and mineral exploration. Hyperspectral Remote Sensing Study was initiated for preparing an exhaustive spectral library of the mineralized belts of the country. Marine Wing of GSI, equipped with state-of-the-art ocean-going research vessel Samudra Ratnakar and other coastal vessels conduct seabed surveys. such as systematic multidisciplinary geological, geophysical and geochemical surveys and special investigations within territorial waters and exclusive economic zone of India. Geological Survey of India is indeed the prime body responsible for the discovery of mineral resources of the country. This includes ferrous and non-ferrous minerals, coal and lignite, contributing enormously to the industrial development and nation building. Today, India produces 87 minerals, which include 10 metallic, 47 non-metallic, 4 fuel, 3 atomic and 23 minor minerals. GSI continues its functions of updating and refining national geoscientific information and knowledge base on coal, lignite and CBM for meeting the energy need of the country. Nevertheless, Exploration of non-conventional energy resources has become one of the priority areas of GSI for a promising and sustainable future.
GSI has evaluated hot springs in different parts of the country and estimated huge geothermal energy potential in India. Since its formation, GSI has been collecting, analyzing, storing and disseminating geosciences data and information in an effective way to a variety of stakeholders. However, GSI's NET portal acts as a single gateway providing geological data and information pertaining to GSI activities. Sir Thomas Oldham realized the imperative of dissemination of information since he took charge as the superintendent of GSI. Therefore, he established the Central Library of GSI at Kolkata way back in 1856. GSI is deeply committed to providing solutions to natural calamities by way of conducting geoscientific investigations. Such activities continue to be GSI's social and non-economic activities contributing to larger public interests. Engineering Geology of GSI initiated way back in 1859 and ever since GSI has been providing geotechnical inputs to all major infrastructure and development projects of the country. Nevertheless, GSI also engages in detailed studies for conservation of archaeological monuments of the World Heritage Sites in India. Geological Survey of India contributes in many ways to human health issues by applying interdisciplinary field of medical geology. GSI has been effectively conducting various researches on coastal studies, paleoclimatic studies, carbon sequestration studies, glaciological studies and desert geology along with generation of geospatial data for climate change studies. GSI significantly contributes for the wider societal benefits envisaging a sustainable future by way of conducting environmental geological studies. GSI has created state-of-the-art facilities to conduct cutting-edge fundamental and multidisciplinary geoscientific research at par with the global standard. Accordingly earned the status as a center of excellence for geological research. The fundamental and multidisciplinary geoscientific activities of GSI encompass studies on geochronology and isotope geology, petrology, stratigraphy, paleontology and paleobiology, polar studies, Arctic and Antarctic, glaciology, planetary and meteoritic studies, gemology, volcanology and so on. GSI is engaged in monitoring and studying the barren island an uninhabited volcanic island in Andaman, the only active volcano in India, and his records of both prehistoric and historic eruptions. Geological Survey of India Training Institute 
has its headquarter at Hyderabad, imparting a range of training and capacity building courses in different disciplines of earth sciences. Equipped with state-of-the-art facilities to its own geoscientists and from across the world. In addition, GSITI has regional training institutes and field training centers located in different parts of the country. Geological Survey of India, the pioneering institution, has covered unprecedented milestones and built an illustrious heritage. It remains deeply committed towards using geosciences for the betterment of humanity and sustainable existence of the Mother Earth.